The Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney, was established in the 1800s, but First Nations communities have a connection to this site that dates back long before then. The garden is a visual feast, but there's so much more to discover than meets the eye. G'day, Drew. Thank you, Walla, for listening. Oh, what a lovely greeting. What language is that? Bunjala. Well, I'm here today to learn more about that because this land was originally the home to First Nations communities. Yep, it's actually the home for the Eora Nation. Men and women of the Eora Nation would have actually, they have always farmed this for generations. They actually used to farm the oysters and the warrigal spinach in this location because it's got the fresh water. Through a partnership between the gardens and shared knowledge, you can learn about the lives of the first inhabitants here through a bush food tour. So this is finger lime. So what they actually do is we open it and we'll actually squeeze it out to put it on oysters, on seafood as well. You can also make a drink out of it, like a cordial oh. as well. Oh, it's so beautiful. In the garden, native plants are everywhere and their uses are many. Well, you smell so great, Drew. Yeah, well, funny, funny thing is, it actually comes from this tree. So the tree behind us is lemon myrtle. So it's used in cooking. It has medicinal purposes that if you crush it and be able to and steep it, you can drink it. But I actually grew up with it being placed in my bath water. So it'll actually work like a antibacterial and antifungal and get rid of the smell. Wow. And boy, does it smell good. The tour is a uniquely Australian experience. And back at the historic Victoria Lodge, a very Australian lunch awaits. What we have is a pulled kangaroo with a Port Jackson fig. This is a cinnamon myrtle brulee with a wattle seed brownie on top. And then we have a bunion nut, warrigal spinach and salmon pasta. But I actually want you to be able to use the finger line that you collected earlier yeah. to squeeze over the top. All right. Drizzle with freshly picked finger lime and you have yourself a bush tucker feast. Oh. Um, it's amazing. Four ingredients. Four ingredients. With so many unusual and delicious flavours, this is one meal you'll savour long after it's eaten. If you're keen to dig deeper into First Nations people's culture, then this garden just keeps on giving. I'm joined by park manager and guide Renee, a proud Wiradjuri woman and keeper of ancient traditions and knowledge. So the Gadigal women were the main fisherwomen of the Sydney area. So if you're a fisherwoman, someone would make fishing line for you. And if you were old enough, you would obviously make it yourself. They would then tie it above this joint on your left pinky. The finger will become mutilated, eventually would just fall off attached to the fishing line. They would throw it into the waterways and hope that a fish ate your finger. It's really important that after we take something, we must always give back. And that process in the Sydney Aboriginal languages is called Nawaiaman. So that's the removal of that part of your finger that aided their fishing ability. So when they would tie the fishing line, they would actually tie it on this middle finger. And when it would hang down, by removing that part of your pinky meant that the line wasn't going to jag. Dude, that is amazing. I've never heard that. Renee's cart overflows with artefacts, each with their own story. Renee, this really is the cart that keeps on giving. Well, like country, you're always giving and always giving back. And I think that's really important for our culture is that we always give back. Together with Renee, you'll discover more bush foods and their incredible properties. And this one here is the Sydney Golden Wattle. And it's actually used as a soap bush. Rub the leaves with some water and you have natural soap. Ingenious. Yeah. <laughs> for a first time visitor to the gardens like me, it's certainly been a day to remember. Renee, I've had a great time. My first visit here, it's been so special. I can't believe it's your first time in the gardens. What a special day, though, to learn about First Nations people and their connection to this country. Yeah, thank you. Gain a deeper understanding of Aboriginal heritage and culture through these fantastic tours. For all the info, head to sydneyweekender.com.au.